Hello and welcome to Chilly Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Alone in the Dark, Emily's story, as part of our Spooky Saturdays playlist. Last time we made it here to the very peaceful, very tranquil Tarawea. But let's get into it. Yes, very nice, very peaceful. And we spoke to this gentleman here, Juan, I think his name was Juan. And um, yeah, he seems to know us. Seems to know us. Anything in here? Ooh. Okay, well, down we go. Oh. The whole place is crumbling. Good grief. Oh, could be anything that's going to try and do anything here. Hmm, nothing down this way, no. Oh, like a tapestry. Very nice. Hmm. It's interesting that all the nuns are made of stone. Is it because this is part of Jeremy's imagination or is it due to um, something else. Okay, so there's that we can mess about with. What else have we got here? Anything else? Any other lineups or items of interest? Whole place is crumbling. Good grief. Okay. Hmm. Aha, what's this? The Great Library. The Great Library it was endless, beautiful, and terrible. An Akashic record for the universe inside the mind of Jeremy Hotwood. Now corrupted by a story forced upon him, told by a maniacal liar, an evil conjured by science and secrecy. I will suspend a room and lock away the foundation of his character. Its key will be left to the librarian, the only thing invisible to the Prowler. Hmm. Well, all right. Some kind of painting here, something. Hmm. Tiles looked a little bit suspect. Is that blood? I fear that's blood. Okay. Hmm. Huh. What's this? Well. or evidence. Hmm. There's something missing. Yes. I fear it is this little item that this nun is carrying. Yep. The key of Hubertus. After the suspended room was built, its key was given to the covenant Convent librarian Hubertus to keep Jeremy's darkest secrets safe from prowling eyes. Yes, all right. Oh dear. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. 
Oh, oh no, it's, it's the dark man. Should I? Okay, this is kind of loud. Okay, I think I remember what we have to do here. Oh no! Ladder up there. Yep. Yep. another one over here yeah. okay oh Emily come on I definitely need to get in that room Definitely. Okay, he's there. Straight through, or now I have to go around. Okay. Well, we're all right. We're all right. It's just a little, um, yeah, making me a little edgy having this dude chasing after me. Well, not really chasing, but hanging about, being an irritant. Anything else that we can pick up? No. What's this? Oh, we can't use it. Covered in vines. Anything in here? No. Okay, well. Ah, here we go. What's this? It was in the hot autumn that I went through the night with the restless crowds. He was a kind of itinerant showman who held forth in public halls and aroused widespread fear. The New Orleans address of the event is lost, but I remember distinctly the Prext Shipping Company pressing their contribution. Emily! There is no going back. He's in my head, Juan. His breath replacing mine. You should not have come at me. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Ruth! Well, if it isn't my new best friend. Come, join me for some giggle water. Ah. What's the book? Ruth? Oh, Miss Hartwood. Don't tell me you've been out swinging without me. <laughs> 
Ruth, what is this place? Where are we? Have you never been to the Maccabean before? Goodness me. Tell me, Miss Hartwood, have you ever considered going out for an evening? Are we in New Orleans? Oh, who can tell anymore? I just went inside the Grand Parlor and suddenly here I am. The Grand Parlor? Can I get back to Dorsetto from here? <laughs> Are you sure you want to? We could stay here and drink the night away. How about a gin fizz? If this is New Orleans, maybe I should go further. Find that magic show the book was talking about. But there was no address, just Craig's shipping company. Oh, is this about where Jeremy met the dark man? How do you know about that? <laughs> Jeremy talked a lot about the dark man. I always felt a bit envious. How so? If an all-powerful entity showed me any interest, I'd at least hear him out. I'm sure he has plenty to offer. I don't think you'd want that, Ruth. You're too sweet for such darkness. <laughs> oh, please. What kind of blue nose do you take me for? I relish the darkness. I think it suits me. <laughs> You don't happen to know how to find the Preg Shipping Company, do you? Of course. Their office is just over there. Oh my god. Whoa, what happened? You just got lucky. <laughs> A bientôt, Mademoiselle Emily. Hey, do you know where my uncle is? No, but I bet you're close. Okay. Matchbook. The layup. Lovely. Hey. Dying with dignity. Hmm. So we we are rather close, by the looks of it, to potentially finding all the lanyaps. I'd love to know what this is, though. Dying with dignity. Hmm. Well, we'll find out, I suppose. Uh, the Dark Man enters. Hello. It was in the hot autumn that I went through the night with the restless crowds to witness the enigmatic Black Pharaoh. He was a kind of itinerant showman who held forth in public halls and aroused widespread fear wherever he performed. It was the sort of thrills my father sought out, especially if there was a promise of electrical trickery. The Norland's address of the event is lost, but I remember distinctly the Prext Shipping Company pressing their contribution in the morning papers. There were rumors of an Egyptian sarcophagus being a part of the act, something which kept me wondering how they had carried that up the seemingly endless stairs. The details of the showman's performance have almost been entirely replaced by dread. The kind that numbs and hides the terror of something unbearable. What is certain is that ever since that night, I can't remember a single day passing without seeing or sensing the presence of a dark man. Hmm. Indeed. Yes. Christ shipping company. According to the book in the Great Library, they assisted a showman performing somewhere in New Orleans. It's somehow connected to Jeremy's introduction to the Dark Man. I'm sure I can find the address inside. Yes. I don't know where to go. Well, I do. I'm just, um... Curious, should we say. Very curious. What's this? Brick. Oh god.
God bless it. Never mind. Well. Ooh, that's so gross. All right. Well, let's take a little look around and see if we can find A, any more lanyaps, and B, the answer to the question. Okay, all right, all right. Oh no, it broke. Okay, we'll pick up this ore, I think. As we need a weapon. Oh god, didn't even realise that was there. Good grief. Okay, well, we'll go in here. Harbour Master's Office. Ah. What's this? There has to be another way in... New Orleans Dock, Pier 11. Uh, okay, so... Harbour Master's Office, Pregst Shipping Co. Sewer Entrance. Ah, I take it we have to go through a sewer way. Interesting. There's a way through the sewers. Hmm. Is there anything else here for us? The Black Pharaoh, Temple of Mysteries, Miracles, Dark Magic and Wonders. Yes. Indeed. Okay, well, let's take a look around here. About this way. Oh, more bullets. Marvellous. Ah, need a key. Hmm. Well, what about this way? What's that? It's a brick. Oh, I don't need a brick. Ah. Items, keys. No. Hmm. Ah. Steve Dores key. Osteva Dores key. Hmm. All right. It's kind of broken by the looks of it, but. Okay. Okay. Oh dear. Good grief. Ugh. Gross. <sighs> Mustn't forget that we have a um We have a shotgun as well. Brick, another Molotov, a bottle for potential throwing, another brick. Let's see if there's anything else over here. Aha. More bullets. More bullets. Shovel. Shovel is useful. Okay. Let's just reload. 
reload. We don't have that many bullets left, which is kind of annoying, but never mind. Oh. Machine gun cartridge. Hey. Can we go in here? No. Hmm. That's kind of annoying. Never mind. Oh. Debris. Okay, so we can take debris or the shovel. What's this? I think we'll take the shovel. I feel a little bit more comfortable with the shovel. I think. All right. Well. All right. God, well that I don't have any bullets left. Could have gone better. We might as well pull out our shotgun. Okay. Uh more bullets, marvellous. Okay. Don't know what that noise was, but that's fine. Ew, there are rats here. Really? Oh, lovely sewers. Ugh. Anything up here? Anything over this way? Absolutely nothing. Hmm. Let's, let's cross over here. So. Ugh. All right. Well. Okay. Well, this is lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Bullets. Oh, we'll reload our... Okay, I was going to say reload our pistol, but... Okay. No. Ugh. Exactly. Ugh. We do have a shovel. Oh god, that's gross. Ooh. Not a fan. Not a fan of that at all. Okay, so. What's through here? Let's have a little look. Oh god. Okay. Ugh. This is very slimy. Ugh. We still have no explanation as to what. Okay. There we are. Yes, still none the wiser as to what those things are. Just some kind of weird monster. I don't know. Just doesn't make um doesn't make sense to me. Is there anything in here? Nope. Just the usual garbage. Okay. Well, hopefully this will bring us up somewhere useful. Yeah. Oh. All right. I made it inside the warehouse. Now let's find that address. Mm-hmm. What we hear? Bullets. Marvelous, marvelous. Pistol bullets. Is that more pistol bullets? Yep. Throwing things. 
Some more bullets. Something else to throw. What's this? More bullets? Wow. We're full. Oh. Maybe we should... Re okay. Reload our pistol so we can grab those. Anything else over here? Could do with maybe some more booze. And not just for the purpose of it being booze. Alright. Let's head up. Poker. Yeah, we'll take the poker, why not? The shovel the shovel's good, but I think the poker is a little quicker for us. Which is the ideal. Ridiculous. I mean, I'm not complaining. No. I wouldn't, Emily, to be quite honest. Tommy gun, yes. Or what's this? All his things. Our ship was raided while in dock. All of his things were recovered, but blood was shed. Several men were carried into the Mississippi River and drowned by the ones who live in the deep. All items have been signed and delivered. Now best keep the papers safe. What is left later is right. And hell is back again. Yes. Don't know why that didn't read out loud then, folks. No idea. Safe, of course there's a safe. Bloody hell. What is left? Um... What is left, later is right, and hell is back again. Four, five, four? Four, five, four. I'm, 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 I think I'm remembering that right, actually. I think it was the same the first time. Four. Um, okay, so four... At five and then four. Yep, there you go. Cargo manifest. Here we Cargo go. Cargo manifest on September nineteenth, eighteen ninety-two. Prex Shipping Company delivered four steamer trunks, one Egyptian sarcophagus, and a large wooden crate belonging to the showman called the Black Pharaoh. Performing at Gallatin Street. Gallatin Street. Okay, perfect. Anything else here? This is it. The address to the theatre where Jeremy first met the dark man. Mm-hmm. Gallatin Street. All right. Well. Gallatin Street. So do we have to go back down the hole? No. <sighs> oh, God! Okay. Oh, God, Emily, run. I'm out of bullets! Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. What? Oh god, Emily, please, a little quicker. Oh 
Okay. Jeez. Okay. Well, we're a little a little beaten, but not too bad. The flyer title. Well, we are hiring longshoremen. Good God. Looks like the fog cleared up. Yeah. Hmm. Is there anything else for us? Anything here? Ooh. Seeing if there's any lanyaps. Those things are awful. And I still, like I say, I've no clue what they are. What they actually are. Bullets. Hey, hey. Does have a bell we can ding? No. Hmm. Well, let's check out the little, the little side area here. First. Oh. What's this? Bullets. Machine gun cartridge. Okay, is there anything else? Uh -huh. Alright, well, do you know what? We might as well do. While we can. Just reload things. Make sure we're fully prepped. Oh. Good grief. I don't think we found any shotgun. No, oh, no, we did. There you go. Well, here we are. Hmm. T. Oh, they're a little weird. So this is him, isn't it? The Black Pharaoh. Yes. I don't know what his story is. Good grief, broom. Anything else? No. In here? With all these clothes. Okay. Jeremy! You shouldn't have come. Don't say that. You needed my help. All I wanted was to keep people away from Dissetto. Especially you, Emily. You're the only one in the family who forgave me for choosing old age over death. Father still cares for you? He is paying for your treatment at Dissetto. To get rid of me! That's the only reason anyone's at this chateau. Someone in the family thought you were becoming an embarrassment. Help me get you out of this mess, Jeremy. I want to take you away. Your father would send me right back. What if I take you up north, to Kingsport? I know Mother still has family up there. I've been thinking about going for a while now. <gasps> I haven't been to Massachusetts in years. I still paint from memory, you know? That old lighthouse makes for a great motif. Your father and I would go almost every summer. Then when our great uncle died, we stopped going back. What is there to be done about the dark man? He's the one holding you back, right? You feel like you can't leave without paying your debt to him. The dark man has been with me since I was 12 years old. He was standing right on that stage right over there. For a brief moment, his gaze held mine. And that was it. I recognized him for what he was. The heart would guys embodied in flesh. I thought it was my turn. But I was only there to be mocked. 
Instead, his attention moved on to my father sitting next to me. I turned to him and saw his face. The whitest shade of pale I've ever seen. He bit off his tongue that night and suffocated. Good, yeah. What can be done, Jeremy? Please. There's a way. Two ways, to be exact. One worse than the other. A written contract now buried inside his sunken temple. Don't you remember what it said? <gasps> I don't want to. Try, Jeremy. What did the contract say? No, we can't. We can't let New Orleans suffer that blight. I have to make this sacrifice. What are you talking about? Is this the thing from the bayou? Juan said something. Ah! But... Hmm. Well... Okay, so there is a way to break the pact, at least. Hidden somewhere inside the Dark Man's temple. I just need to find it. Somehow. Let's see what what is around here. What's this? Ah, yes. So would that be Gemini? Wait, what's that? I think that's Pisces, Gemini, and Leo? Well, Pisces, Gemini, and Leo. I don't see anything else here. Okay. So Pisces, Gemini, and Leo. Oh, no, not 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 the talisman. Pisces, so two five and seven. Two five seven from the outside, I think, from the largest to smallest. Two five seven. Okay. So it's two five eight. Two five eight instead of two five seven. Hmm. Um One, two, three, four, five, yeah. Six, seven. Oh, of course it was Virgo, it wasn't Leo. Oh my god, I'm I'm just I'm just a fool. Just a fool. Alright. Well okay. Let's push on through. Ugh. Wow. Find a way inside the sunken temple. Well? Whoa. Okay, quite, quite, quite incredible. Quite incredible. I guess we just have to keep going. <clears throat> Very um, mysterious. Reminds me a little bit of Tomb Raider, actually. We may eventually end up playing Tomb Raider, actually, on this channel. Purely because I'm a big fan of Tomb Raider. It was one of the very sort of first kind of games I played as a child. All those many, many years ago. And it was a long time ago, so... You know, don't judge me for being old. What's this? Nothing. This? Bullets? Okay, machine gun cartridge. Beyond the Nile Valley. The temple of Nephron Car lies under our camp. Despite all efforts, that unholy site did not collapse, but sink beneath the sand. The pharaoh is long dead, his name meticulously stricken from all ancient writing. But that stage meant for blood and terror remains. 
The temple is said to be lightless, built to harbor all the haunters of the dark found in the very depths of our universe. Calling on the gods meant creating a bridge between our world and theirs. The terrible Aldebaran of Taurus, the Black Sun, was seen as the most important star in the night sky. Because, according to the Kitab al -Azif, it was said to be the home of that crawling chaos known as Nyalahotep. Through ancient mechanisms, it was said that the priests could open shafts channeling the light emitted by that strange stone called the Shining Trapezohedron. Several streams pulled together above the statue of that dark man would then be sent through space towards the Black Sun, a message to the gods. The gifts bestowed on the sender are completely undocumented, but often assumed to involve dark blood pacts, where souls are traded for malicious miracles. Ooh, God. Okay. All right. Well, interesting. Some rope. Hey, rope. Marvelous. Anything else here? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Well, this is very, um, very strange, but very interesting. But I think we will leave it there for today, folks. Next time we will enter the temple and, um, See if we can get this contract and sort Jeremy out and help him. So until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves. <laughs>